Hi everybody, this is the Animal Dude, David Stokes, coming to you with another solo animal encounter. Today we're going to visit with the box turtle. Everybody make a turtle. Put the shell on top. Turtles and snakes, turtles and snakes, I'm going to learn to like them no matter how long it takes. Let's try it. Turtles and snakes, turtles and snakes, I'm going to learn to like them no matter how long it takes. Now turtles are in no hurry, they're often walking slow, that's because they carry their home everywhere they go. Some turtles are on the land, some live in the sea, and on their backs or houses, wherever they might be. Yeah, shout out to Jerry Axelrod, he wrote that song, he lives in Florida. Ha! Everybody say good! Day, friends, please make two hooks like this. I like to use sign language. It tells me if you're paying attention. Everybody say good. Day, friends, my, my name is David. Everybody say hi, David. And today I got a new turtle shirt on. We're going to talk about the land turtle called the box turtle today. But before I do that, I want to tell you about some resources that you need to look up. One of the most important in Wisconsin, if you live in Wisconsin, are these three books. Three books. You're getting sleepy. This one, Turtles and Lizards of Wisconsin. And they only cost, wait for it, $4 from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. You can order them, I'm pretty sure, online or get them at a state park when the state park's open again. Also, please get a hold of the snakes of Wisconsin and the amphibians of Wisconsin, including frogs and salamanders. And these books are specific to the state of Wisconsin. That's what's so great about them. Yeah, I love turtles and snakes and all kinds of reptiles and amphibians. Herps, that's what people say. But I want you to meet a box turtle today. So this one is a toy turtle and this is the shell of a box turtle. Everybody say, it's real, but it's dead. It's real dead, like a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, and this is a shell from a box turtle, an Eastern box turtle. We don't have Eastern box turtles here in this state, but in the Northeast, Eastern box turtles are pretty common. We have the ornate box turtle, which is a threatened species in Wisconsin. Can you see the backbone inside? The turtle shell is the turtle's back. Only on television does the turtle jump out of a shell, take a bath, and get back in. So let's meet a box turtle. This one, everybody say, cheeseburger! This is a three-toed box turtle from Missouri. It was hit by a car, and I got it about 25 years ago. I'm going to guess it's probably close to 30 years old. Now, I want to give the turtle a bath. Don't look. Don't look. She's taking a bath. <laughs> Stop looking. Oh, what are you, normal? Yeah. Everybody say, baby wipes. A lot of you don't like baby wipes. But when you were a baby, you liked it when your mom wiped your bleep. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. This is a three-toed box turtle. Please notice it has a very short tail, unlike the snapping turtles we met some time ago. Most turtles who live in the water have a long tail. Softshell turtles break that rule. Forget about that part. Turtles who live on the land don't need a long tail. And this one has a complete plastron. Everybody say plastron. Everybody say carapace. And I don't know if you noticed, but the turtle just peed. Did you notice that? It's a good thing to notice because you don't always see that. This is a box turtle. Box turtles have a hinge right here. They can close up their shell inside. Now, the turtle only does that when it's threatened or afraid. And I don't want my turtle to be afraid, so I'm not going to do that. But this turtle has scaly skin, and if you notice, she's wearing a turtleneck. Now, how do I know she's a she? Because her plastron is flat. The boy has a dent. The girl has a flat plastron. Everybody say bye-bye, box turtle. Now, I want you to meet a bonus. This is a Russian tortoise. Everybody say Hello, Russian tortoise. Let's practice language. Everyone say, Chitty Paha. Try it again, ready? Chitty Paha. Chitty Paha is turtle in Russian. Don't look, she's taking a bath. Don't look, stop looking. <laughs> what are you, normal? This turtle is not a, it's not a, well, it's called a tortoise because it spends most of its time on land, doesn't really drink water. It gets all of its water from the food that it eats. And this is a Russian tortoise. My friend Owen, shout out to Owen Bachuber in Minnesota. He says it's a girl. I'm not sure why. But you can see a complete plastron on the bottom. Unlike the snapping turtles we met before, its plastron, its belly is really big. There's not much skin exposed. 
And this turtle likes to dig. Lots of toenails to dig. And of course, a turtleneck. Everybody say, bye-bye, Russian tortoise. Yeah. I want, to, I want to tell you this. Someday I hope to come to your birthday party or your school or your library and we get a chance to touch these things and maybe even try on a turtle shell. Everybody say thank you. Thank you, animal lovers. Hope to see you soon with another fun animal encounter. Bye-bye.